All right, well, I uh, wasn't expecting for my eyes to burn today. I guess granny titties will do that to you. The trailer for IT Chapter 2 has finally arrived. The anticipation has been so high. The studio knew it themselves and decided to tease us far in advance, premiering the video, having us eating it up until the very last second when this trailer would arrive. My name is Chris, and what I'm going to be doing here is breaking down the trailer for IT Chapter 2, showing you things you might have missed, referencing some stuff from the book. I try to keep it as spoiler-free as possible because since we know what happens in the book, there's a good idea of what might happen in the movie. So let's just dive right in for the trailer trailer of it chapter two really brilliant of them to start off the trailer with an actual scene of the movie get you a vibe of what's going to be going down in it the scene in particular that is actually pulled from the book is adult beverly marsh coming to her former childhood home the current resident is a familiar character from the book miss kirsch there's also a scene that was already shown at CinemaCon, so we already knew this was going to be happening but some easter eggs that we might want to take a look on is one when she is looking for her box of childhood items that she left into the wall if you look at her arm, it's pretty bruised up and beaten. In the book, we know she has a pretty abusive husband. This is done as a parallel to the abusive father she had as a child. So it looks like the book will be continuing that route unless she has already countered Pennywise in the movie, and this is a bruise left behind by him. I'm also loving how every little scene that seems innocent and full of wonder just has Mrs. Kerr slash Pennywise peeking in the background, doing the stanky leg. Also worth pointing out, but pretty obvious to most of us, that the note she is reading is a poem given to her by Ben. It obviously brings fond memories to her, giving her a nice little smile. Other small minor details are the flies on the wall, obviously indicating that Miss Kirsch has been dead for a while, not to mention also the scabs on her chest. Cutting to obviously the build up here, that photo on the wall, leading us to a little tease of Pennywise. We know that this demonic demonic being has been around for thousands of years so miss kirsch could have actually been a really old victim of his and this dancing clown photo could have been actually taken from her time when pennywise was out and about continuing to more shots of naked granny running around and honestly if they make her a naked granny throughout the movie i think we have a contender for the next scary thing this no longer is scary the beaver between this legs is the scariest thing of this movie so far getting off that clip though we are finally shown little bits of footage for the second film starting off with obviously letting us know this adult cast are the younger cast members. Right here going off, we have Mike, Richie, Bill, Beverly, and Ben. You might notice that one of the members of the Losers Club is missing from here, Stanley, the little Jewish boy. Most of us already know what's gonna happen to him, but just in case you don't know, I hope he wasn't your favorite character because he's not in the movie for very long. This is a wonderful parallel shot though and very smart of them to do. Other bits to notice though, it seems like the town has been pretty deserted, so this could be sort of a memory lane psychedelic trip that Pennywise is inflicting onto them because they go through some of the greatest flashbacks of their childhood the town on their bikes the sewers where we saw them talking about banging each other's mothers cutting to something I'm really happy they're including in this movie the Chinese restaurant scene which is one of my favorites from the original movie I will never forget the little egg popping out of a fortune cookie so I can only imagine what they have in store for us and what will happen here Pennywise might even be the waiter you better tip him guys other thing you want to take in fact is every shot we get of these adults they're wearing the exact same clothes so the whole film could actually take place in one day not to mention the flashbacks back and forth from when they were children because it has been confirmed that the kids will still be involved in this movie through flashback form showing us things we didn't get to see in the first film but uncovering some of the ways to defeat Pennywise and their blacked out memories of course Pennywise here doing the classic tormenting and playing fun with the characters specifically Billy in this scene with with his little brother being dead, Georgie. I love though how even though we cut back to James McAvoy, if this is still the same scene and not an editing trick, that he is not phased by it. He's like, I know your tricks Pennywise, you can do better than that. Still really messed up of you to do that. When cutting to shots of Mike here, one of the important things that they changed in his character from the book to this movie is that he's gonna be sort of a junkie or a drug addict. He is one of the only members that stayed behind in Derry becoming a librarian, librarian? Librarian. 
Like Bre Brett Burbrian. Focusing his time on learning everything he can about Pennywise, the history behind it, methods to kill him, and in doing so, he experiments with drugs, thinking that'll be the answer to understand this psychedelic demon. In the book, the kids did do drugs in a circle together to find out the origins of Pennywise, being that he's an alien from outer space coming to our planet thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. So it's not that far-fetched of the characters to do something like this. From there, we get a sneak peek of what's going to be one of my favorite characters in this movie, Richie, played by Bill Hader. I absolutely love Bill Hader. And this, again, is another scene pulled out from the book where Richie encounters Pennywise on top of the Paul Bunyan statue. Now, in the book, Pennywise took over that statue and scared him with it. And this one, it looks like he's doing more of an up situation, trying to scare him that way. But something about this visual shot of Pennywise floating with the balloons, it gets me super excited to see this movie. And the sheer shock on Richie's face proves that even if this guy's funny, he's not laughing at this clown. Another shot here of Mike, which most likely is encountering Pennywise. He's got a pop balloon in his hand there. This could be the first time he's actually encountering Pennywise to let the gang know that he's back, making the phone call to every single one of them. A great shot of hundreds of little red balloons being let out near the carnival. Pennywise here popping out and scaring what looks like Mike. It is a similar haircut to that character. Character. A gruesome transformation scene of Pennywise most likely scaring one of the Losers Club at this moment. I wonder if we'll actually get to see a human version of Bill Skarsgård, the guy who plays Pennywise behind the makeup. But it's giving me chills just looking at this. Another tease of Beverly and Billy getting together here. Now we know there is a love triangle going on with Beverly, Bill, and Ben. Curious to know if that'll still play a factor in this movie, but it looks like we know who gets the girl in the end. I still want a scene though of Pennywise kissing Ben like it the old movie. Kiss me, fat boy. I look at something that wasn't included in previous incarnations of this is the carnival. It said that this could be the opening of the movie. A couple of a-holes will go ahead and bully someone for being gay. In the middle of that all going down, Pennywise pops out and does a little social justice killing. But earlier in the shots, we did get to see James McAvoy running through that carnival, so it could play a big factor into the movie. Hell, this could be the new way to get down into the sewers. Their old way might be closed off. Here we get a tease at what they're calling the scene with the most blood ever in a horror movie. That's exactly what Jessica Chastain said about this scene. And yeah, that looks like a lot of blood. This looks almost like another bathroom. It could be a recreation of what Beverly went through as a child when her bathroom exploded. Really interested to see what happens and how this plays out. One thing also interesting to notice here is if you look at the character of Eddie, it looks like he's already been through some sort of scuffle. This could be the battle that ensues under the sore towards the final act of the movie he got pretty scarred up here might be pennywise turning into his spider creature like form he still has this bandage here when they're in the circle most likely doing the ritual of chud or chewed however you pronounce it in your head this is a method in the book that the kids use to get rid of pennywise from existence from the looks of it they might be repeating the same process thanks to mike's research throughout these 27 years that he's gathered to take care of pennywise once and for all. I think this will be pretty cool to see the movie accomplish. Who knows if they'll make it all wacky and trippy because it is supposed to be sort of a drug-induced ride. And like I mentioned, Pennywise is known to take this sort of spider-like form. We got a little tease of that in the previous movie. So I have to assume they're going to give us the final form of that in this movie for them to take down. Also, a big nod that the movie does from the book is we get a hint right here of the deadlights. Kind of hard to explain what it is, but just think of it as a light. You just can't avoid you get sucked into it you just want to be with it and it's something Pennywise uses to his advantage like he did with this little girl but in the movie it'll be cool to know that this will be further explored because in the first film it was kind of absent if I'm correct this is actually what he uses to get the bully on his side to manipulate him to go after this losers club for him but still really cool to see that this popped up in the actual trailer teasing us with a final little shot of a girl encountering Pennywise this is how Pennywise came back in the original movie whether they decide to do the same thing or this could be a child from one of the members of the losers club who followed them to Derry. i don't think that is the case though because most of their kids stayed behind in the hometowns that they settled in but that creepy sounding music and pennywise popping out to say hello with those crossed eyes is what really just got me super excited for this movie the only character i was wanting to see but that they didn't show was the character of henry bowers he has already been cast in the movie and i know a lot of 
of you are thinking, wait, he died, he fell down that well. No, he's still alive, but he just didn't make appearance in this trailer. Anyways, guys, if there's anything I missed that you guys caught, go ahead and let me know down below if you have any theories about what's going on. I know they're trying to stay close to the book, but that doesn't mean they're going to do exactly that. Some characters who died in the book might end up being alive by the end of this movie, or they could choose to do something completely different and only pay homages to certain scenes from the book. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.